Hello Tino friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about this beautiful HK4 Hero. It is the latest Huawei watch copy. It has a gorgeous AMOLED screen. It comes with compass built in and a really smooth UI. But before we start with the details, please, if you like the video, smash that like button and consider to subscribe for more videos like this. With that being said, let's get started. First of all, inside the box, we're going to come with the smartwatch with a pair of silicone black straps, a wireless charger, an extra pair of leather straps, and a user manual. The smartwatch comes with a 1.5 LTPO AMOLED screen, 466 by 466 pixels, Bluetooth 5.2, the latest chip SF32LB551 dual core, now on the spec says we will come with IP60A but I won't recommend you swimming or take bath with it because being honest with you I have tried so many budget smartwatches that says the same thing but that information is not real but for rainy days or wash your hands you should be fine now here is something that I really don't understand the pen on the store, you will see some of them says uh, it comes with a 280 milliamps battery, some other 480, 530. I had checked so many stores and every single one has different information. I'm talking about the battery, all the other information is the same. But the way I see the power consumption is going, I will assume it has a 380 milliamps battery. You can find it in Aliexpress with a price of 37 with 99 cents. I will leave you the link down below. This is on choice, so it will be a fast shipping. And you can choose from three different colors, silver, gold, and black. If we take the measurements, we count with uh, 46 millimeters from this other angle, 12.9 and its weight is 39.2 grams. The smartwatch comes with a metal frame that looks and feels real premium. On the right side we will come with a crown, a second button, a microphone right below. On the left side we have the speaker, on the back the sensors and charging interface and a 22 mm strap that is really easy to change. This HK4 Hero comes with 7 pre-installed watch faces but you can add one more from the app so you will be able to have a in total if you upload a pre-made deal from the app it will be in but this if corner you choose to upload a photo from gallery it will be in this other corner right here so you can have both the pre-made that you upload from the app and your dny dial as you notice we don't count with the lock watch face and that is because when you are on this screen if you turn the crown Either way, it doesn't matter, it won't make any change. But if you press it, it will take you to the apps menu. From here, you can do zoom out and zoom in. It will open the app that you select. Let's choose uh, sport. You can see we count with 11 different ones, by the way. And if you press twice, it will switch between all four uh, menu styles that will offer you the button on the bottom. If you press it once, it will take you to the sports. If you press it twice, it will show you the apps open in the background. You can close one by one, sliding up, or you can touch right here to close all at once. From top to bottom, we're going to count with the messages. A cool thing is that it has stock messages so in each app you can have like 50 or more. From left to right we count with the split screen and from right to left we're gonna have the widgets. From bottom to top the shortcut. Something pretty cool is that on this smartwatch you can change the text size, small, medium, large, it will be up to you. Lock the whole screen, turn on the pointer. Very sad that it will last only a few seconds, but we're gonna count with some kind of always on display. You can activate it right here. Now this screen will stay on, but only can stay on a maximum of 20 minutes. Now let me show you all the apps that this smartwatch counts with. You can pause the video if you want, but we have a compass, of course, two different types, as you see. We're gonna count with calendar too. For some people this is very important. And all the way on the bottom we will count with this game. Now if we go here there are a lot of settings that you can change from here. If we go here you can adjust the brightness as you see. 
turn on off the wake up gesture you can make some other adjustments on uh, sound and touch you can choose to activate a password too something really cool is that uh, if you select that function we have risk detection that means while you're wearing it you don't have to be introducing your password every single time only when you take it off and leave it on the table let's say you go and take a bath when you come back then you're gonna have to use your password Real cool feature, that way if you leave it somewhere, it locks by itself and nobody can see your information. We have key customization too. You can choose what app to open when you press twice. And some other adjustments that you can do right here, but on heart rate, it's really cool. You can uh, have alarms if your heart rate goes too high or too low. You can customize that too, that uh, when it gets to a point, it will alert you. Another cool thing is that we will count with the red dot, letting you know that you have notifications. Now it will be blinking as you see. It won't stay solid. You will be able to make and receive your calls now. Until here, everything looks and sounds great. But now let's talk about the negatives for some people in this smartwatch. Number one, you only can save a maximum of a contacts in case of a notification it's really cool that we had a banner we touch on it and we can read long messages but the sad part is like all hka ultras user know if the screen is off it won't bright up when you receive a new notification if you like digital watch faces and you want to use the 12 format hours well we don't count with it it only has the 24 hours format another thing to consider is that when you receive notifications just like hka pro max the vibration is very weak if you're sitting or doing nothing you will feel it but if you start walking doing things here and there you won't feel the smartwatch vibration and something important for android user is that um, you cannot receive notifications from Facebook Messenger because the app won't give you the option. Another thing you need to consider is that when you try to use the player for your music, your videos that you're playing on your phone, all the media sound it will count to the smartwatch. Even if you make that switch from the phone and select it as your output, when you pause and then play, the sound will come back to the watch. And for last, the app. It comes with so many apps that sometimes if you want to do something, it's going to take you a good moment to be able to make that setting. Because some of the apps, you had to wait like five seconds to be able to close them. So it gets very annoying. And well, my friends, that's it for this video. Let me know what you think about this HK4 Hero. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.